Bob Sachs, head football coach, Garfield High School. Probably Robert Lyons. He, Robert last year was a junior, um, started for us as a sophomore, and was kind of emerging in the first couple of weeks as our as our best back, um, and got dinged up early in week four in the Bookdol game, hurt his foot, and really never came back. Um, and that was a big blow to us last year because he was he was our most explosive guy. So I'm, I'm real anxious to get him. He's looked good in camp right now, so I'm anxious to get him back in pads and and get him you know producing for us. Seen, let's see here, senior this year. I I, I like this. I, I I really like my senior class. I, uh, Robert's in there, um, but I, I can't really single handedly say one of those guys I'm going to miss any more than the other. I, I, they've done a real good job. Uh, there's only ten of them. But they've been they've been doing a good job for leadership and in the weight room in the off season. So I'd say as a whole, I, I like this senior class right now. You know, we're, we're going to be pretty young, especially on the offensive line. Um, I'm, I'm really I'm anticipating um, he's going to be a junior, Raphael Cross, uh, playing some either guard or tackle for us, and, and playing some defense as well. I, I think as a lineman, he's he's the one guy that I think is going to make a huge jump from JV to varsity, and and run you know skilled players. Um, probably a young man named Troy Robinson. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing him run the football this year and see what he can do. He's got some good moves. Um, we're just hoping he can stay healthy and, and durable. Last year, we, we kind of played two quarterbacks. Uh, after the first couple games, we started doing a little shuffle. And I, I, I really think our, our you know quarterback's key position, and I think that uh, the kid's going to be a junior. He's got a lot of experience. He's a lefty, Deion Lewis. Did some good things, but I think I think for our offense to really go, he has to really step it up to the next level, and, and he's he's been doing that so far in, in the seven on sevens. So I'm re- really looking forward to him to, you know, taking the reins and saying, hey, this is my job. I'm the guy this year. I'm not coming out, and and because he can throw the ball, and I think we got some guys that can catch it. I tell the kids all the time that you know, this is special. High school football is special. Very few of you are going to go on and play. Um, whether it's Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, um, so let's let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this now because this is when it's still fun. You go to college, it's a job. It's a job. You got school to handle and, and coaches to deal with. So I, I I just tell I tell all the seniors that you know, take advantage of the time that you're doing it now. It's with your friends. It's the kids you grew up with and you know them. Um, let's take care of business because this is this is the lifelong memory right here. I've always even when I played, I I, I loved I loved the game. You know, I don't think anybody ever likes practice in the game, and I, and I was in that boat. But uh, I, I, I like working with kids. I'm, I'm a teacher. I like helping kids out. Um, I got this, you know, I, I got a real competitive edge to me. I don't care if we're playing a pickup game of basketball, if we're, if we're playing paper football. I want to win. I, 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 if we're playing euchre at lunchtime at school, um, I, I love to compete. And I, you know, I hate losing. And this is a change, you know, I love, I love the game of football. I, I think I like helping kids and, and teaching them, you know, all the things about, you know, successful football, but, you know, the things that carry on in their normal lives as well. But, you know, it's a way for me to, to still compete, at, you know, as I'm getting older. And, and uh, you know, that's probably the biggest thing. I, just, I like working with the kids and, and, and competing. You know, I've had a, a wide variety of them. Um, <clears throat> The, the the ones I love the most, you know, I, I guess what I love the most is that they're all different. You know, they're, they're, there's never one that's the same as another. Um, but I, I, the ones that I love that are the special ones are the ones that do it daily. You know, they, 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 they take the coach and they do it at practice every day. They're not – they're there ready to go. They don't have excuses. And they're ready to practice. They're, re- they're willing to play offense, defense, special teams. They're going to do whatever it takes for the team. And, you know, the most recent one that I had that did that was Tyson Gully. Um, you know, he, he did it all. He, he didn't, didn't matter what you asked him to do. He did it, and he loved practicing doing it. And th- those, that's what I like about the star ones. You know, I've, I've, had, I've had a lot, and, and, and some of them, you know, some of them are they think they just want to play offense or they just want to play defense. They don't want to practice all the time. Um, but, you know, you know, come game day, they're, they're going to bring it, and they're, they're, they're pretty good. But uh, this, the, the real special ones to me are the ones that love the game and, and are willing to do anything for the team. It's just a, a general message to them all is that uh, this is maybe the last time that you'll ever be able to play com- competitive football again. You know, wearing the shoulder pads. And, you know, when you get together, whether it's a year down the road or 10 years down the road or, or whatever, you're going you're gonna to talk about 
that football season, your senior year, what you did, what how what the team's record was, and and it's always something. It's a bond. It's just a special bond you're going to have with with your friends. And so I tell them to enjoy. It. Let's make the most out of it. Um, a lot of tough times. Two a days are tough. Practices after school are tough. But there's nothing better than that feeling on Friday night after you get a victory because you really are on top of the world right there. I just I think in our lay I think it's going to be a great year for the Akron City Series. I think we're pretty balanced. Um, so you know I'm I'm looking forward to you know we were, we were kind of out of the mix last year and I'm looking forward to get get back into the mix as far as the league goes and uh, but, but I think it'll be pretty competitive.